Okay. So on your quiz, the first four questions, a little bit of, a little bit of math, a little bit of vocab for these. Um, so for number one, it says if angle one, which is this angle here, if angle one is 124 degrees, then the measure of angle three is what? Well, because angle one and angle three are both inside the parallel lines and on the opposite sides of the transversal, we call them alternate interior angles and alternate interior angles are congruent. So angle one is gonna be 120, or angle three, sorry, is gonna be 124 degrees. Can we put the iPad screen down, please. Number two, if angle seven is 35 degrees, then the measure of angle four would be what? Well, they're vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are always opposite or across from each other, okay? You don't need three lines to have a set of vertical angles. All you need is uh, two lines that cross because the vertical angles are always just right across from each other. And they're congruent, so 35 degrees for the measure of angle four. Number three, if, measure, uh, if the measure of angle two is 42 degrees, then angle six would be what? Well, angle six is obtuse. They're not, they're not even close to being the same size. So if it's not corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, or vertical, it must be supplementary because they will add 180. They sit on that straight line together. And so 180 minus uh, 42 is 138 degrees. So they're supplementary. And number four, if the measure of angle eight, this obtuse angle is 140 degrees, then what's the measure of angle one? Well, angle eight is the bottom left angle and angle one is also the bottom left angle. They're the same angle uh, on the, just on different lines. So they correspond to each other. And because they correspond, they are congruent. And so it will be 140 degrees. There weren't any complementary angles. I had a couple of people try to put complementary for this one. That means they add to 90 and there aren't any angles on this to add to 90. Okay, so I think the word you were looking for is corresponding. It's kind of difficult when you don't have a word bank, right? You're not going to have a word bank like that on your test either. So you have to know this angle, those five different angle relations, alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding. Those are the three new ones, vertical angles. And if it's not any of those four congruent types, supplementary. Yes. So I got it right. I was confused. I just now realized that if you just like number one on the very top, 124, but then at the bottom, number one is 140. Yeah, I changed it each time. Oh, yeah, so you'd have to okay. redo the math each time. Otherwise, you'd just be copying down. It's either because if it if, if if angle one is 124 degrees, then the other angle is what 60 no 56 degrees, and so that you would just keep using those numbers back and forth. And so I wanted to make it different each time. Number five, the triangle sum theorem says that these three angles will add it to 180 degrees. So x plus x minus 44 plus 48 will equal 180 degrees. That combines to 2x plus 4 equals 180. And then divide by 2, or subtract 4, I should say. And then divide by 2, and you should get 88 for x. Just had to solve for x here. Yes, Cooper. I had a rate call or something because I did my 4 to 180, and for some reason I got 178. Yeah, I saw that. You had 89 degrees, right? Yeah, so 88. That was too yeah. Long. Number six was the most missed question on this test because the angle 2A is not inside. You have to use the triangle exterior angle theorem, which says that the measure of this exterior angle will equal the sum of these two non-adjacent interior angles. So they do not add to 180. If you had 180 in your equation, you didn't get any points. Okay. Devin? That question was on... One of the homeworks, and it said it was wrong whenever you put in 54. Yeah, because Pro it's 108. Probably because when I assigned it on the homework, it asked you to find what the actual measure of the angle was. So once you found 54, you would multiply it by two and say that exterior angle is 108 degrees. But on the quiz, I didn't, because it's only worth one point, couldn't justify having you do three or four different steps to get to that. So I just took that part off, where you just had to solve for A. When you solve for A, you were done. Okay. So 2A, that angle, that exterior angle is equal to A plus 10 plus 44. 10 and 44 makes 54, subtract 50, sorry, don't subtract 54, subtract the A, 
because I got variables on both sides. You subtract A from that side over to the other side, you get 1A, which is what we want, equals 54 degrees. Number seven, here's an obtuse angle. And then you have two sides and two angles that are equal. So that's isosceles, obtuse isosceles. Number eight, here's a right angle. None of the sides are the same, so this is scaling. Any questions on the front side of the quiz? On the back side of the quiz, number nine was mini triangles. You were only given two angle description, or sorry, two uh, descriptions here. Uh, one referencing the angle being 60 degrees and another one having a four centimeter side. I can make many triangles with those descriptions. No one said how long that other side had to be. Um, so I could make, you know, I know this one's four centimeters, but this purple one and this blue one could be whatever length they want it to be. Okay, so they didn't really lock me into a unique triangle. They just said, you know, that's like saying, I want you to draw a tree. But they didn't tell you what the tree was going to look like, what type of tree it would be. How many branches I had, what color, what part of the season it's in, right? There's a lot of different things you could do. If I just said draw a tree, everyone's tree is probably going to look different. But if I said draw this, this, and it has to be this, this, and this, this, now our trees start to look more like the same tree. Um, so the more descriptors you have, the more chance it has of being unique. So if I just give you two options like that, there's many different triangles you could draw. Uh, B was no triangle um, because 50, 70, and 100 don't add up to 180, which we know all three angles should. They add up to 220. So this was no triangle at all. Number 10, part A, was no triangle. Now, I had a lot of people putting one unique triangle because side, side, side. And I'd agree with you most of the time. The issue here is that the two shorter sides don't add up to be the longer than the long side. So yes, you do have three sides. And there is a theorem that says side, side, side. That's a unique triangle, assuming you have a triangle. We have no triangle here because the two short sides are too short. Okay, so this is no triangle. I had to pick my thing out of the tray. And then for B, it says an isosceles triangle with two four inch sides meet, meeting at an 80 degree angle. This one is unique. Um, we have a theorem that says, in fact, I'll write it down here, that if you're given the side, the angle, between them, two sides and the angle between them, the side angle side or the SES theorem, then you have a unique triangle. There's nothing I can do. I, I can't make that purple line any longer because if I make it longer, I will widen that angle out and make it more than 80 degrees. If I make it any shorter, that angle becomes shorter there, uh, smaller than 80 degrees. I, I can't do anything about it. So um, for these problems here, there's really one thing you want to reference. And so I would reference that picture I sent to you guys. And if you didn't, if you lost that picture in your, in your emails, then just re-download the 3.2.5 notes that are on Google Classroom, my version of it, and you'll have this picture. But this is what you're gonna to wanna to reference, okay? Assuming you have a triangle, and I'll get to that in a second. If you have three sides, it's unique. If they give you two sides and the angle between them, it's unique. If they give you two angles and the side between them, it's unique. Or if they give you two angles and a side outside, it's unique. So really these two right here, these two, basically what it's saying is if you have two angles on the side, it doesn't matter where that side's at, it's unique. Now, I said, assuming you had a triangle. If the angles don't add up to 180, do you have a triangle? No. If the two short sides are shorter or even equal to, this can't even be equal. If the two short sides are shorter or equal to the longest side, you don't have a triangle. So those are things you have to pay attention to before you start using that right there. Okay. A lot of vocab, not a lot of math on this quiz. Oh, uh, the bonus question. Let me go over that. Let's go back to the quiz. One angle in a triangle is 45 degrees. The other two angles are, have a ratio of seven to 20. So I, every time we've had a question like this where they give you the ratio, I've had you write X as your variable. And then if it's 7 to 20, 7x, 20x. If the ratio is 3 to 5, 3x, 5x. Okay. But I have to add this 45 degree angle that I already have, knowing that this angle, 45 degree angle, the 7x angle, and the 20x angle, again, getting 7 and 20 from the um, ratio 7 to 20, has to all add up to 180. That makes 27x. Subtract 45 to get 135. Divide by 27 to get 5. 
And so if X is five, that makes this angle 35 and it makes this angle 100 degrees. So that's how you go. Mm -hmm. And when you realize the two add up and then you add seven and 20, right? 27 X, you add 35 and 45. You subtracted 45 from 180 to get 135? My guess is you forgot about the 45 degree angle that was already given to you. Me neither. I multiply by two point eight five seven one four two. All right. So there's your quiz. We'll go ahead and end this video. I'll send this out separately. Um, if you didn't again, if you didn't download today's notes, go ahead and do that. Three point four.